Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about the £10,000, aka $12,000 bad monkey. This Gary Moore owned pedal has been making headlines in Guitarist Magazine, Guitar World, Music Radar, but for something owned by a legend, is it actually that much money? I think that you listing the Gary Moore bad monkey is... Okay, so first, let's just rewind a bit. So we all know Josh Scott is the ultimate troll when it comes to reverb listings. In the past, Josh has been known to list pedals for astronomical prices, most notably the Klon Centaur, which is one of the first ones ever made. Josh listed this for like half a million dollars and sort of blew up the internet back then. But in light of the recent Bad Monkey chaos, Josh listed a complete Chinese logo set of Digitech pedals and it equates to about 48,000 pounds in British pounds. The ad copy on the listing was, let's just say, a little bit tongue in cheek, but nonetheless, someone could click on right now and buy that whole set. Now, any of you guys that know us well here at Pedal Porn know that we love a good troll as well, and we thought we couldn't let Josh get all of the headlines. So we did what any sane guitarist would do. We dug out our Gary Moore owned Digitech Bad Monkey and listed it for 10,000 pounds. <laughs> and as you can see, we've had some colossal offers Anyway, after being sat there for about 12 hours declining five to 10 pound offers, I was scrolling on Facebook and I saw our very own Bad Monkey making headlines in Guitar World, Music Radar. So what Guitar World had to say was really interesting. They said, to be fair to the sellers of the Gary Moore unit, UK stomp box manufacturer Pedal Porn, at least this one has some intrinsic value thanks to its association with the guitar icon. Now this is where I thought I need to get Josh involved because Josh knows this stuff more than anyone. Guitar World said here, it's almost not out of step with valuations from other celebrity owned effects. This is the age of rock stars, reverb clear outs and high profile auctions. After all, a world in which Kurt Cobain's Boss DS1 goes for $75,000. But it's fair to say Moore's Monkey still carries an attention grabbing price. Uh, I, I would agree with that. I mean, it was an outlandish price, but this is what made me think as soon as I posted it on Reverb, I was like, is it actually that bad? Because, you know, if Kurt Cobain's pedals sell for up to seven or eight times the amount that we've listed this for, I don't know if it's actually that bad of a price. But anyway, I don't think our opinion counts anywhere near as much as the man himself, Josh Scott. So, so Josh, I have to ask you, what is your opinion on the Gary Moore Bad Monkey? I think that you listing the Gary Moore Bad Monkey is like it's one of two things. It's a little bit funny, um, and I think there's there's something to be said about it. But it's also Gary Moore's Bad Monkey. Like he's a big deal. I mean, we saw the seventy five thousand uh, dollar DS one, Kurt Cobain's. I mean, Kurt Cobain and Gary Moore are not the same, but it was Gary Moore's overdrive that he used and people and publicly made statements about the bad monkey. I mean, the same boat is like Phil X another huge guitarist has used a bad monkey for years. And I stated this, some of this in the video, you know, the bad monkey has a lot of celebrity users and it, and it has because it's a good pedal. So I think your listing. It is great. I mean, maybe there's someone who wants to buy it. I think people get, really up in arms and touchy about you shouldn't list this for this much. Well, I'm trolling when I do a reverb list for $55,000. But on the other hand, you have a bad monkey that's owned by Gary Moore, uh, arguably a guitarist that would get brought up in any top 20 all time. And it was his pedal and maybe somebody wants it. And so supply demand, again, basic economics. There's no supply of Gary Moore pedals. There's hardly any, you know, and now you have the bad monkey thing where people are into it. So it's supply demand, put whatever price you want on it. What people need to realize about all of this stuff, whether it's a bad monkey or a clon, or when I did the Behringer pedals and the prices went up on the, whatever, you know, I've done so many videos and people get mad at me um, because they're like, you shouldn't do this because it, it's like, you don't have to buy this stuff. Nobody's making you buy anything. So I'm really hungry though. Um, I've been eating a lot of bananas lately. <laughs> Josh, you're an absolute 
legend. And I'm not just saying that because you've sort of justified the price of this. So <laughs> anyway, enough guitar pedal talk. Let's actually plug this bad boy in and put it through its paces. We're going to be using a backing track from our mates at Anderton's. It's called Bad Mother. So that's uh, very fitting for the bad monkey. If you want to support our channel in a very humble way, all you have to do is buy this for £10,000. Um, no, no, but uh, if, you want, if you guys um, like the videos, please do subscribe because it does help us out a lot. Thanks so much for watching. Let us know what you think to all this craziness and we'll catch you in a bit. Cheers.